You won't kill me. I know you won't. Why? We were like family once. He won't hurt family. Well, everyone, this is it for 2018. I want to give a big thank you to everyone who has watched my channel this year. And I'm going to put a timestamp on screen right now. That's when I actually am going to be starting the video. So, a big thank you to everybody who has supported me this year. We have hit so many accomplishments this year, and I'm so thankful for all of you that have supported my channel. You know, it, we've had ups and downs, without a doubt, but 100,000 subscribers this year. I got my silver play button. 8,000 Twitter followers to close out, 18 million channel views, and over 10 million this year, which was my goal. We had 150,000 subscribers, a couple hundred thousand viewed Walking Dead videos. My first ever Walking Dead video hit over 5,000, 500,000 views of the evolution of Clementine. A big year, guys, and especially with all the ups and downs, with especially with Telltale closing down, whether we were going to get the Walking Dead. Yesterday was the 100-day mark to the Walking Dead getting you know, telltale closing. It's crazy to think about that this much stuff has happened this year, guys. But thank you all so much. It means the world to me that you guys have supported me. We're going to have big goals this year. This year is a huge year for my channel. It's about to be our third year on YouTube, so I think this is the year my channel is going to officially hit the hit the big mark I think we're gonna be getting big leagues I think this year because I think we're going you know you could say 100,000 subscribers you're already kind of getting big leagues I think this is the year my channel blows up and I'm very confident that you guys with your support and me with my consistency and hard work we're gonna be able to get there so you know if you guys big like goal for you know just the end of 2018 here guys let's go for 1,500 likes I think that'd be a great goal to close off the end of the year so whether you're watching this in 2019, 2018, end of the year, I want to thank y'all so much for your support. Straw pull link down below in the description. Make sure you go follow my social media down below in the description. You guys want to check that out. And make sure you guys smack a like and that sub if you haven't already, guys. And big thank you again, guys, for 2018. And here is to a great 2019. Happy New Year's, everyone. Hope you guys enjoy. So, this video is about Lily's redemption as a character and whether I believe it is possibly to happen in episode 3 or 4. Now mainly this is going to be talking about episode 3 since we are again 15 days away. Holy moly, half a month guys. So, a lot of stuff we'd seen in episode 2 of Lily. Remember, we didn't get, a, you know, we didn't really didn't get that much time with Lily. I mean, we just, there was the introduction to her. Returning back in episode 2. But I saw some qualities that could potentially hint at a redemption of her character because it i mean they telltale made it pretty obvious lily's the villain and i don't think anyone you know duh goes from the past a lot of the achievements even hinted that you know hinting at lily was evil and a lot of stuff i think is going to be happening in episode three it looks like we're going to be negotiating with lily and i think there's a possibility that if choices can go right I think there is a possibility, and note the word possibility, that Lily could turn good. And that's obviously going to be dependent on other groups, what Clementine does, what the boarding school kids do as well. I think there's a chance, but it's going to be dependent on your choices. So we remember a couple circumstances in episode 2, and a couple I'm going to be pointing out were, again, Lily tries to pick up Clementine, gives her a hand to get her up, telling her to join the Delta, join her group, not just shooting her. I mean, there was multiple circumstances where she could have. And there's also the scene where she talks about, you know, Clementine talks about we were family once, and it looks like Lily hesitates for a moment when, you know, if you said go to hell, she'll instantly want to shoot you. But if you say we were family once, Lily's like, wow, Lily has a good side, it looks like. And there's also more stuff where Clementine's reminiscing about good times and then Abel's like I told Lily you wouldn't cooperate and it seems like Lily is acting like Clementine is a cooperative person and I think part of there's still that part of Lily that's the season one Lily the one that was you know the, you know we still had the stern Lily but we had the one that really cared about the group and its success and you know cared about the family so I think there is a part of that season one Lily that's still there that is 
you know, it's going to be hard to get to that Lily. But I think if there's some bad things that happen in Episode 3, we could possibly be getting a chance at redemption. Now, note the word chance. But, again, I don't think it's going to happen in Episode 3. I think if Lily's going to have a redemption, I think there's no way Lily's going to die in Episode 3. It's just a little too soon, since we obviously only got a redemption tour. It looks like it's going to be Clementine and her, you know, boarding school group against the Delta up until last episode. And we're going to find more out about this Delta. Maybe the Delta betrays Lily. Maybe Lily's betrayed by the Delta, oust from the Delta. There's chances that this could happen. Or this group in the north that I talked about in my last video, where they could be running in, and they could cause some differences, and they could be even worse than the Delta, and Lily joins us up. And we've seen Lily change a bit. Now, she's still stern, she's still mean, but it seems like part of her, you know, humanity, compassion, just went out the window. But we see it in those scenes, again, that I talked about earlier in the video, that there's still some good left in Lily, and I, I see it. I see it. Now, but after she killed Mitch and all that in the ending, I don't even know if that telltale is even going to go that route with Lily, because it doesn't seem to me like, you know, they really want Lily's character redeemed if Lily's going to be killing children like that. I mean, it was a surprise attack by Mitch, but still, stabbing him right in the head is not a good start to getting Lily on that redemptive path. Now, let me go into those screenshots really quick from episode 3. Again, you've been, spoiler warning, you've been warned. I'm going to be going through these and what these, I think, episode 3 and the redemptive path could hint at Lily with these screenshots. And we know here, conversations going on. Negotiations of sorts. Lily doesn't look that happy. Maybe she's talking about able and what they can do to get her out but i think th this will start the transformation negotiation and maybe your dialogue can help lily has a relationship status with clementine we've noticed that if you played the end of episode two you can make lily feel different ways so our relationship with lily is affected by choices and i think if we make good choices with Lily and try to maybe get her on the good side that there's a chance Lily could have a switch flip and I think if Lily turns good she's going to have some kind of dramatic sacrifice you know save emotional scene at the end I don't know if we're going to be crying because I mean a lot of people really don't like Lily right now and that's okay that's okay but it makes me think you know there's a chance now we've seen the scene with AJ in the episode 3 where he wants to shoot Lily and I think you know, choices could maybe make Lily not so nice, and you know, maybe just we'll be able to shoot Lily in the face. I don't know. So, after I finish up this video, guys, I want you to leave down below in the comments what do you want Lily to become? Do you care if Lily is redeemable in any way? Do you want Lily to be redeemed? Do you, could you give two craps about it? Do you want to make it player choice, or do you think that they're going to do it no matter what? Because I would love to see make player choices really matter and, you know, let us as the player decide what kind of villain we want. Do we want a redemptive? Do we want, kind of want a villain vigilante of sorts like how they did for Batman Telltale? Do we want someone that could be good? Could be. Do we trust Lily? That's another question. Do you trust Lily at all? I mean, personally, I don't know if I do. So, a big other part of this that I didn't really mention was her side mates, the Delta group members. We've got Abel, those two other characters, I don't know their names, they haven't really been revealed yet, I think they were revealed in the credits, I don't really put them to memory yet, and we've got also the people in the Delta, potentially Minerva, Sophie, if Lily's the leader, if not, there's some other leader that's barking her orders to do. Her relationship with those people also is going to be very dependent on whether she wants to help us out. And I think whatever transpires in Episode 3 is going to be a huge hint to Lily and her redemption. I think in Episode 4, Take Us Back, if we do good choices in Episode 3, we might have that option. And I hope... Telltale does this because that would be such an emotional thing because a lot of people don't like Lily right now as I mentioned like two minutes ago make people like Lily that would be awesome and I know a lot of you are like look like 
probably if you made it to this far in the video, you're like, Dom, you're freaking crazy. You're crazy. I'm never gonna like Lily. Stab Mitch. Freaking pull a knife on 10. She was gonna shoot Clementine in the face. I'm not saying that personally. I personally right now want to kill Lily. But redemption, it's possible. Evil or good. At the end of the day, I don't think she's gonna turn good if we don't, you know, as Clementine, if we don't get that in her head that, hey, we were family once. There's a chance you can still be saved. So I want to thank you all so much for watching. This is all I'm going to go through in this video. I may have another video talking about Lily and, you know, what I think her role is going to be in episode three, but this is more of like, if I think long term in the last two episodes, she is going to have some kind of redemption of sorts. Because right now she is full bad to the bone. And this is it. Bad to the bone. She's bad to the bone. B -b -b bad. So. I want to thank you all so much again. Thank you guys for a fantastic 2018. And this is the last time signing out this year, guys. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Or actually, we're probably going to be starting daily uploads. Probably, I think, the first or the second of January. Since we're pretty much getting, you know, trailers about in a week. So. Thank you all so much for your support in 2018 and on we go marching on to 2019 i'm gonna leave you off to my outro thank you all again and we'll catch you all in 2019 peace